and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Pula back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, I'm going to go over the incoming market crash that I believe will be happening in Madden pretty soon, guys. Going to be going over the market right now. There's not too much content in Madden right now. We're kind of waiting for the next Ultimate Legend drop and the next two promos. So we should be having two promos, hopefully, and an Ultimate Legend drop within the next... I want to say open legend drop tomorrow obviously because it's saturday i'll say the next promo next week and hopefully the following promo is the following week i'm going over everything if you guys have been watching the channel you should probably already know what i'm referring to at this point let's get that light on but beyond that for the most part guys in my opinion the markets can come down quite a few quite a lot a little bit now it showed glimpses of this a week ago or so when all those other Ultimate Legends dropped. You guys saw where things crashed too. That's probably more, more than not where the market's going to start staying from now on. But it did rise back up because we're still in Madden Limbo. We've had nothing. Like this week's been dead, dead. Which has sucked for me because my YouTube brand is kind of built around Madden Ultimate Team stuff. So when there's no Ultimate Team stuff, it's kind of hard. Now it could become more gameplay oriented in times like this. But you guys don't always watch those gameplays. So it really depends. But guys, if you're into the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the Naughty Bell, boys. We're super close to 20k. I don't know how many more times I can say this, but hopefully we hit it soon, guys. If you're new here, show some love and just hit that sub button. Let's get to the goal. Come be the last few guys initiated into the 20k gang. Now, starting the market, you see the 88 indicators. They should be around like 9 to 20k. I'm going to show you guys what it's working with now and what things should be pretty soon after this is like everything comes out. Now, the two promos I'm referring to, by the way, are the theme diamonds or theme MVPs, I should say. Theme MVPs, theme builders, and the combine promo. 17k that's pretty cheap right there but pretty much team builders are going to pretty much just send an influx into the lower end market which should bring all these budget type players down team mvps will send a splurge into like the higher tier market which should bring all those players down and then the combine promo should just rain hell on everything for the most part so let's work up to here actually i'm gonna start over here i like it up here a little more show you guys what price is gonna be so right now 92s are decent right some full legends in there some redux guys now in my opinion when it comes to Redux cards, guys, I've realized that they're one of the biggest movers in terms of power-up cards nowadays. Redux cards really do go up when they're part of a power-up, because Redux cards are technically kind of like LTD still to an extent. So, is there any player you guys want? Now you know should be getting a card soon, and he has a Redux. I recommend you pick it up, because I'm not going to lie. A lot of people have spent a lot of money on Troy Palomalu, and all these other guys, Randy Moss, George Kittle, because these guys skyrocket when they have a new card, because Redux cards are kind of like LTDs. And there's not that many of them on the block. Well, per player, I should say. There's a lot of reduxes overall. So there's a good example of that. I'll show you guys as we get to it. But these prices right here, there's going to move a lot. But I really want to focus on the higher tier cards right now in terms of price movement. So see these right here, the 94s. They're like 1.6. That's a great price. When the, when the team builders come out and team MVPs, team builders are going to have a lot of 90, 90 to 95 cards. So that should bring this market overall down, which is why I believe United Train Lane will be coming down in price pretty soon. Because the only thing that holds them up is how much it costs to make each player. If these players go down, it means their pieces should come down, as well as if the whole overall set comes down, that is when Night Lane will fall within a million coins. Right now, Night Lane costs over a mil, but he should come down below. I'm, my guess is, well, I'm probably, I'll buy Night Lane when he gets like 500k. Night Lane to be at 500k, it's going to take at least another month or so. And if it does not, I'll probably end up using a power pass him because I do really want that Night Lane. He's a really, really solid card. Super good. But that should bring them down overall, like a lot of these lower pieces. And by the way, if they bring down those lower pieces, these Ultimate Legend lower pieces should come down a little bit, which also means the Ultimate Legends, the, like the high ones, the full ones, should come down as well. Team of, the, team of the Year cards do fall into this category as well, as well as NFL 100. So NFL 100 cards should be coming down. Now, what do I expect these to be? Let's say NFL 100, right? To give you guys a good example, considering these are in a lot of power-up sets for Ultimate Legends. These cards will hold a little bit of value only because they will be part of certain power-ups, but only when they're out. So if you guys know that one of them getting a card soon, Pick them up. If you find an NFL 100 card for cheap, pick them up. Like me and Joe Green might get an NFL um, Ultimate Legend card. Reggie White always gets one. Tom Brady, maybe. Point is, I mean, actually, no, Tom Brady won't get an NFL 100. I mean, they won't give him an Ultimate Legend card because he's still technically playing. But a lot of these cards will be getting Ultimate Legend cards. A lot of them will be, except for the modern day ones. Those guys should not be getting any. But like Randy Moss will be getting one. But Randy Moss is expensive because people are expecting that. But as things start to come down a little bit more, I just recommend you pick up the things that you want. Like, if you know you want one of these guys, like, he's endgame, you haven't powered up, pick up this card now. Because I'm telling you, these prices, like, when a new Eric Dickerson comes out, 
his card might go up to like 400k worth of, if he's a power up like that and like he's that good i'm telling you lawrence taylor another guy holding value because people know he's gonna get a, he's gonna get a card soon he's gonna be insane same with Deion sanders that's why i use my power passing them for the most part because i knew that would happen now one guy that i recommend personally that you i mean i'm thinking for the most part we should be picking up i'm pr i plan to pick up this chris johnson right here 94 overall hoping he i went away from him to get like 170k 180k i probably end up scooping him up because chris johnson always gets a combine card and we are getting a combine promo pretty soon which is why another reason why the market's gonna crash because a combine promo gonna introduce a bunch of 97 through 99 overall cards chris johnson is usually the master and if he gets a card and his card's insane he's probably gonna be going for like i'd say like 300k plus so i probably want to pick him up now his next card should be pretty insane that's the card i really really want i don't know why I never usually want Chris Johnson cards, but I really want one this year. But other than that, a lot of these cards are fine. I mean, Sean Taylor should get an Ultimate Legend card, but I honestly, I think this Redux card is endgame as it is. I really don't think you have to go much further than that. And as far as modern day players, guys, remember, at this point in Madden, a lot of cards are going to be like Legends. Like, the majority of cards that are coming out are Legends. And Combine will offer some players, not all. We don't get as many modern day upgrades as much as we used to. Towards the end of the season, I usually invest a lot in Legends. Now, setting over to the next filter up, and check out these Ultimate Legends, guys, because I know that's probably what you care about the most. As far as price differential on these Ultimate Legends, I'm looking at some things here. Obviously, the worst Ultimate Legends are going to be the cheapest. So, you can see what people think about Kurt Warner. Chuck Bednarik, Bednarik, don't kill me guys, not great at all. Shannon Sharp was actually decent. He was decent, but Tony Gonzalez and George Kittle just are too similar to validate having a Shannon Sharp card. And then as we move on down, Warren Sapp's great. Pretty much if you're above 300k. If you're one of the above 300k cards, you're probably pretty good. Now, I imagine a lot of these will fall below 300k. Once the market crashes, because right now, these are the 97s in the game. They're the top cards in the game. By, well, not the minus 99s or 98s, but these are like the big bulk 97s, right? And there's like one Pat Mahomes, one Lamar, one Night Train Lane. These are the bulk. These are like the commonly accessible night, um, 97s. So this is kind of where the market is on them. Once a lot more drop, they'll be a little less rare, and obviously they'll come down in price quite a, quite a bit. That's why I'm kind of just waiting. I picked up Walter Jones because he was 260. Like he was 260, he went up a lot. So what all it tells you is that his price probably will come down around 270 again, 260 once things start coming out. For now, they're gonna be holding up, but that's kind of why I'm not buying any of these Ultimate Legends anymore. I bought Troy for the gameplay, that was it. I, I used my power pass on Calvin. Now I'm gonna wait for everything to come down because things should not be this price. I think they're gonna come down quite a bit because Ultimate Legends, they're commonly accessible to everyone. Like you can just get them off the block. They're not limited time. So I don't imagine that the whole value for that much longer. Now I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're gonna like die entirely, but I think they're gonna be a lot cheaper. And remember, even if they go down 40k per card, right? Like he's 310. Oh, let's say where's Warren Sapp? Warren Sapp is 3 330. Let's say he goes for 290 now, right? That's only 40k, but if you buy three cards and you say 40k per, that's 120k. So you know that's, that's a third of another card. It could help a lot. It could be the difference between being broke and having money still. That's just kind of how I like to how I like to look at things. Now for the 98 to 99s, these here are a little more trickier, and that's because the the rarity, it's just supply and demand. And the supply on these cards are very, very low with a high demand. Pat Mahomes, he shouldn't be this expensive. I mean, he is the he technically know what it is though. He's the best accessible quarterback in Madden right now. Now, I promise you, if Lamar Jackson was a million coins, Pat Mahomes would be like 600 k The only reason he's not is because no quarterback can compete with Pat Mahomes right now. Because anyone who has Pat Mahomes has the best quarterback in Madden. Now, the only other quarterback maybe close is Lamar Jackson, or even better is Lamar Jackson. But no one can afford Lamar Jackson because he's limited time, LTD, MVP. So everyone's forced to just stay with Mahomes, like me, right? I wanted Lamar, but I can't afford him, so I'll hold on to Mahomes. It makes no sense to downgrade Mahomes because he's still the best quarterback. He's godlike. I mean, if you can't have if you can't have Lamar, you might as well just keep Mahomes. So that's why he's that's why he's gonna retain value. So Mahomes won't go down until another 99 quarterback comes out. If a quarterback comes out near his stats, Mahomes goes down to 700k. If Lamar comes down near his price, Mahomes goes down to 600k. I'm telling you, book that. And then Night Train Lane. He's holding value because he's just, he's a master. He's a master. It takes 32 collections to get his ass. That's a lot. That's a lot of coins, a lot of time, a lot of effort. And honestly, God bless the people who sit there and do that for however long it takes to collect every single player and do that. Unless you open a lot of packs, you might have it. But to the people who bought every card and did those sets, you better get your coins worth on it, right? I mean, I understand why he's so expensive. And he's the best guy at his position. Look, look at his, his stats are insane. And he can be powered up and he's, he's going to be 99 powered up. Pretty self-explanatory, guys, but that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're already to the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to comment down below what you guys are preparing for right now. 
Are you guys ready for the? Are you guys think there's gonna be a crash? Do you not think there's gonna be a crash? I'm pretty sure there will be. The combine promo always usually kills the market a little bit. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Come and get 200 likes on this video. Noti gang, if you guys are still alive and you're still popping out to these videos, always let me know at the end of the video. And don't, guys, if you're new, subscribe. Let's get to 20k. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out our 10:30 video today. Hopefully there was some content because I'm recording this in the past. But I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.